Dear students, welcome back. It is the fourth video for week seven, and we are learning the state structure of Pakistan. Dear students, in the video third, we learn about the legislative branch, Kanun Sazidare, which include the National Assembly, Parliament, and the Provincial Assemblies. There we learned that lawmaking is one of the supreme function of the Parliament. And law actually regulates the lives of the people and it settles new targets for the state and guides the officials and departments to function accordingly. But the students living in the human society, there always happen different kind of clashes, clash of interests, okay? And as being human, their people commit different kind of crimes or violates the rules. Well, to decide between them that what is right and what is wrong, what is ethical and unethical, what is legal and illegal, law, judiciary, mean court systems are established. Court system is one of the major department and the backbone that maintains harmony and settle the disputes among the departments and the people. The failure of the court system of a country is the failure of the state. Okay? As you all understand that prevailing of justice is the major responsibility about the state. Therefore, the court system is which ensures the fundamental rights and secures the other issues. Well, now, in short, I'm talking about the judicial system of Pakistan. The current judicial system of Pakistan is inherited from the British Raj. I mean, the British, when they conquered subcontinent, they introduced their own system and replaced the old court system of the Mughals or the princely states. Clear? The British system actually is the system of government which was prevailing in the other countries of the Europe. And your British system is also the mother of many systems in the colonial world, like in subcontinent, in the Australia, South Africa. I mean, wherever the British went, they introduced their system, judicial system, and the lives of the people are still, the system of the governments are still on the pattern of the Western judiciary, Western political system. But the judicial system was much influenced by the American in 1950s in our country. Well, let me here praise the American system that in America, the division of power is very important. I mean, no organ of the state interferes into the functions of the other. I mean, their Congress is altogether independent in making law and courts never interfere. Okay. Prime Minister, President of America is altogether strong administrator who deploys and applies the rules devised by the Congress and there is no pressure on it. And the judicial system of America is so powerful that it is never it never comes under the 
impression of the other let's for example in let's for example in the former president reign donald trump he ordered to stop the foreign immigrants to america american airports were closed people were halted at the different positions different countries okay what what they did there was no demonstration like first of all what they took they went to the supreme court supreme court heard both the parties okay and when and found it that the uh, that the orders of the president of america are illegal and they are directly contradictory to the fundamental rights which are against fundamental rights which have been conferred to the people in the constitution of america and supreme court ordered and the sanctions were lifted and people started moving this is what is the power of the judiciary and more is the independent more is the uh, del, uh, more is the we can say the separation of power I mean every organ of the state is independent fair and clear in its directions clear and the later on under that impression fundamental rights were included clear for example if we read the constitution of pakistan 1973 it is all agreed constitution okay 1973 first nine articles are the fundamental right right to live right to education right to speak right to move okay uh, right to observe uh, religious uh, sacramental or according to the religion performing the activities that all have been provided in the article uh, 1 to 9 of the constitution of pakistan under the constitution 1973 there should be there is a supreme court of pakistan I mean the highest court is the supreme court of pakistan okay then under the supreme court are the high courts on every province I main high court sindh high court balochistan high court punjab high court kpk uh, uh, kpk and high court azad jammu and kashmir okay and under the high courts at the district levels are district courts okay and then the courts are further divided into civil courts and into criminal courts anti terrorist courts okay uh, environmental courts this and that well uh, parallel to the supreme court of pakistan to observe the islamic rules and regulations there is a federal shariat court I mean all the decisions law and other moves which are taken in state of pakistan if find they are if they these I mean something which is against the rule of islam that can be challenged in the federal shariat court clear uh let's have uh let's wa- find it explore further through a chart supreme court of pakistan is the highest court okay and parallel to supreme court is the sharia appellate bench clear this is the sharia appellate bench I mean shriya tablet bench actually is a further division of the supreme court it is equivalent okay now supreme of court of pakistan under the supreme court are sindh high court lahore high court peshawar high court balochistan high court islamabad high court for the federal okay and similarly under the shriya court are the 
federal Sharia court is in Islamabad and under the federal Sharia court, just like high courts, are the special tribunals, special tribunals for all the provinces. Clear? Provincial Services Tribunal, Federal Service Tribunal, Competition Appellate Tribunals, they are the tribunal. Uh, tribunals are actually some special courts which are devised for other administrative purposes. Clear? I will define it. Now come to the high I mean or the level of every province there is a high court. Okay, then under the high court of every province is a district and session court. Clear? And district, I mean the session judge is the highest judge at the district level. Clear? And then there are two types of judges. Session judge, additional session judge. I mean additional session judge is the one who assists the judge. Then there are district and session judges. I mean, there is, there are other people of the same rank. Down is senior civil judge. Clear? And then senior civil judge, judicial magistrate, class 1, judicial magistrate, class 2, civil magistrate, judicial magistrate, class 3. Okay? Then, dear students, under every court, we can divide further. We divide the court system into two. One is called the criminal courts in which the crimes are dealt. Fawjidari Mukadamat. Others are called civil courts. Civil courts in which people talk about their own rights, rules and regulations, business, they all deal in civil courts. Whereas the Criminal courts, murder, kidnapping, terrorism, they all are called in the uh, in the criminal courts. Fine. And then at the every level is a court under the high court is a session court under the session court or the seal level courts and then this is the judges. Fine. Uh, and similar fashion is in the same then Peshawar and Balochistan and Islamabad. Okay, now come to another level. That under the High Court are some special courts and tribunals which time to time are established by the government. Jab mulak ke andar koi naya masla a jata hai, koi nai cheez a jati hai. Clear? To under the High Court there are various special courts. To unko hum kya kya dete hai? Special courts. For example, anti-narcotics to control the spreading of the narcotics munashiyat ke instaat ke liye jo courts hoti hain they are called anti-narcotics court anti-terrorist courts they are established to deal the matters of the terrorism and there are high specialized people who are appointed anti-corruption courts okay Corruption, uh, banking courts, consumer courts, NAB courts, fine, and other special courts like custom, taxation, anti smuggling, income tax, services. Clear? So they are the uh, special courts which are established one by one. Now, special tribunals, I have told you that under the Supreme Court, there are special tribunals and their position is the position of the high court and the judge of a high court is the judge of the special tribunals okay you got it now what is how the court system functions when something happens first of all for example the course the 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 system starts from the lower court clear the system starts from the lower court and then lower court to civil judge and civil judge to okay lower court decides the matter they are called trial courts once a matter is decided by a trial court and either party koi bhi shakhs chahta hai ki jo trial court ne faisla kiya hai wo theek nahi hai to beta 
सिविल जज की अदालत में चला जाएगा सेशन जज तो उसके पास दूसरी अपेलेट कोर्ट इसे कहते हैं अपील कहाँ कर सकता है सेशन जज के पास थे कोल्ट अपेलेट कोर्ट अगर सेशन जज की अदालत जो है वो कोई फैसला दे दे पार्टी इज नॉट कन्विंस्ड तो दे कैन गो टू हाई कोर्ट तो फिर उनके पास अपील कहाँ की जा सकती है इन द हाई कोर्ट बट इफ समिंग्स दैट द डिसीजन मेड बाय द हाई कोर्ट वॉज नॉट अप टू द मार्क और देर वॉज समथिंग लेफ्ट और मिस्ड कोई बड़ी कानूनी गलती कर गया हाई कोर्ट कोई बात उनसे छुपा ली गई ओके देन दे गो टू सुप्रीम कोर्ट ओके एंड द डिसीजन ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट इज द फाइनल क्लियर दिस इज हाउ द एंटायर सिस्टम फंक्शन ओके ओके विथ दीज आई हैव टोल्ड यू मैंने एक बात आपको बताई Let me talk in Urdu. Okay, court system is established to protect the rights of the people, the right of the public. Okay, the departments of the uh, the the departments of the state. So court system का मतलब है वो लोगों की कहाँ लोगों के हकुक को लोगों की जान माल को और मुल्क की सालमियत का भी ख्याल रखते हैं. there by the courts have a special power clear they are called inherited power of the courts unko hum log kehte hain inherited power of the courts right then that inherited power of the court in which judges and court can take decision can take self action normal cases we case suo moto self action taken by the court they have the powers of the court that if the prime minister uh, especially the so motto is with the high court that if the highest court of the province thinks that some person some department is uh, giving dent and risking the life of the people at mass level and he has altogether violating the law then beta a writ can be filed or supreme court or the high court can take uh, direct notice clear this is called the suo moto power and you know that former chief justice iftikhar choudhry was famous for taking suo moto actions clear suo moto actions are not taken frequently because it is considered to be the interference into the other departments fine the students i'm sure that you have learned it what is the court system of pakistan and there is another special court that is called uh wafaqi muhtasib court clear if some some person is found guilty violating some profession some uh, government official is violating the rules of law they can be a uh, wafaqi muhtasib clear he uh, has this powers to investigate from any person in power in service of the pakistan thank you very much